have some of that bread too, please? Oh, I am so, so excited, friends. I have gotten word that Konosumi is ready to play oatmeal 50% for you. Hi, everyone. My name is Konosumi, and welcome to Oatmeal. I am really excited to showcase this game to you all today, as it's one of the most surreal games I've ever played. So the objective of Oatmeal, as implied by the name, is to eat oatmeal. I have to eat as much oatmeal as possible within the time limit for each stage. There are eight unique worlds in this game with three stages each. And I, my current objective is to get 50% completion of the game, which is a total score of 36 out of 72 stars. Each level has a star system where you can get between one and three stars based on how much oatmeal you collect. And I'll be going for about 50% completion as noted by the category. All right, this game has a really cool time mode. That's what I'm gonna be using for this run. It has a built-in timer. Without further ado, the run will begin in three, two, one, go. Yeah, oatmeal. World one is a nice tutorial stage. It introduces us to the concept and the gameplay. I'm gonna take my spoon and dip it into the oatmeal bowl, making sure to get as much oatmeal as possible. And once I'm done, I can simply exit the level and move on to the next world. I'm now in a bowling alley, and these bowling balls are going to be knocking the bowl around. But thankfully, I'm able to get enough oatmeal in time as for that not to be a problem. Going into world three, there are now spinning pillars that are trying to ruin my day. But thankfully, I'm getting some good spoonfuls right now. I'm going to go back for a third just to get that second star on this level. Moving on to world four. This is an ice level and I have to be really, really mindful of how the bowl is moving because if the bowl goes off screen like that, I will have to restart if I don't get enough oatmeal collected in time. The cool thing about this game is that restarts are really quick. So if something like that happens, it's not that big of a deal. And with that, I got my two stars on this level. Moving on to world five. World five is a really cool stage because it's set on top of a mountain. And for this one, there's a spinning pillar that's going to knock the bowl of oatmeal off. The bowl fell, but I still got that spoonful right on time. That's going to give me that second star that I needed. That was really cool. World 6 is cool because the bowl is moving sideways. I'm going to try to get my two spoonfuls in here, but if I'm not able to do that, I can just go ahead and press this button, which is going to bring the oatmeal back to me. Awesome. Got that two star. Moving on to World 7, we are in the oatmeal testing room, and the, there are some lasers that are going to lock onto me and try to shoot me. So I'm going to lead them over here, have them shoot, and then go back for my third spoonful, which is going to get me that second star. Moving on to World 8. World 8 is really cool because it's set in outer space. going to go for a strat, where I launch the oatmeal bowl towards me, not quite the moment I'm looking for, but we'll see if I can make this work somehow. Awesome, got two stars on that. That's, that's what I was looking for. Not the, quite the execution, but I got the two stars. This game has some really cool strats. <laughs> but yeah, so now you'll notice that I'm back on world one. We're gonna be doing a loop of all the worlds again, but this time tackling the second stage in each of the worlds. As you can see, I'm back in the bowling alley. And in addition to the obstacles, the bowling ball that we saw in the first time I went to this stage, they're now this spinning pillar that gets in the way. Moving on to world three yet again, there's a little purple cube off to the side. And there's also bowling balls. They are back. But this time, they are not as effective as the ones on the bowling alley. So I can just take my time, take as long as I need, and get those spoonfuls. Going into World 4-2, the ice level, have to be mindful of how the bowl is sliding, of course. This is pretty good, and I should be able to get this on my second spoonful. Very good stuff. Going back onto World 5, the mountain stage, there is a laser. No spinning pillar this time, but this layer, laser is going to lock onto me. But before it can shoot, I was able to get my second star. And now we're back in World 6. The bowling balls are also here too. 
going to be getting my second spoonful before the bowling balls go down that line. And now we're back into testing chamber and the purple cube is approaching. Can I get my second spoonful? Yes. All right. And now we're back in outer space. I'm going to do the same strat as I did last time. Hopefully this will be fine. Good oatmeal launches so far. Can I, can I, can I get three star? Three stars. Let's go. That was awesome. That was really good. That can be really hard for me to get three stars on that. That strat can be amazingly inconsistent at times due to how the physics in this game work. And that was two stars. Time's going to be coming up pretty soon after this level here. Going to get one. That was a 426. That was time. That was time. Oh my goodness. That was, that was a great run. Yeah, 36 out of 72. That is 50%. 426. Thank you so much for joining me on this oatmeal journey. I know it was a lot of information packed into such a short run, but this game is really, really fun, and it has a surprisingly technical speed run. Thank you so much for joining me again. Hope you all enjoyed, and enjoy the rest of the marathon. I'll see you around. All right, blink and you'll miss it. That was the speediest eating of oatmeal I have ever seen. I hope y'all got something for yourselves for breakfast. Maybe take a little more time eating it than Konosumi did eating that oatmeal. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, we do have a donation here from Huggy O Fofinos, who said for $25 says, loving these breakfast runs. Love from Brazil. What is your favorite breakfast food, Chet? Now, we've seen some bread, and we've seen some oatmeal. I, myself, I, I prefer, you know, a little fresh fruit or something like that. But it's, it's okay. I, we, can, we can pound some carbs for charity. Absolutely. I have a $10 donation here from Mr. Shasta, who says, Reminder that all the best speed games are breakfast food-based. Oatmeal. I am bread. Chester Cheetah, too cool to fool. You know, the traditional keto breakfast that I'm sure we're all familiar with. Yeah, who's hungry? <laughs> who's hungry after these runs? I have a $50 donation here from Jervola K83. He says, greetings from Germany, longtime watcher, sometimes donator. Special thanks to the team of the German Restream. They're doing an awesome job. I have another donation here from Sancero for $20. It says, greetings to Germany. Guten Tag, friends. We're always saying greetings from Germany. But is anybody asking if Germany would like some greetings? Well, Sancero did. Greetings to Germany. I have a $50 donation here from Dubulus who says, Childhood cancer survivor here. Always enjoy tuning in for this event. Fills my heart with joy seeing that number go up and up and up. Got to donate for that Weezer concert. Can't believe we haven't met that incentive yet. And <clears throat> Say it ain't so. Well, I am going to check on that right now just for you, Dubulus. Our wave break go to a Weezer incentive. It is currently sitting at $1,944 out of the $5,000 we need. Gosh, we don't have a whole lot of time to raise the rest of the funds we need to go to that Weezer concert. I really, really, really want to hear the special song that Weezer wrote specifically for this game. I would, I would you know, you love to hear it. I would love to hear it. Please do get those donations in and put them towards the Wave Break Go to a Weezer concert incentive. Oh my gosh, and I am being told that that oatmeal run, Konosumi's oatmeal run that we just watched was a new world record. Congratulations, Konosumi. 
Congratulations. I have a $500 donation here from William Hickman, who says, hey, y'all, last year was a rough one for me, so I couldn't donate, and I'm making it up with this one. Still hoping to make it to a GDQ where we can be in person big events again. Shout out to all the runners, commentators, casters, and all the people who keep production running as it should. I have a $50 donation here from Rob, who says, thank you to all the runners, hosts, GDQ team, and of course, all the donators. I've lost multiple family members to cancer in my life so far, and having more money towards stopping this terrible disease is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. And just a reminder that every single one of your donations does go to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. I'm actually just so, so honored to be here helping out with this event. Um, I lost a really beloved aunt to cancer. It's It's been a few years ago. Now, it's funny, like, all I have to do is think about it a little. I miss her so much. So this is a very um, personal. Um, this uh, the, Being able to help with this event means a lot to me. So um, thank you to everybody who is here watching and helping out and um and donating just thank you so much for your generosity um prevention is so so important <laughs> i have i have a ten dollar donation here from Mark who says, love from Scotland. Now I'm hungry. I blame these games. Greetings to Germany. Oh, more love for Germany. Couldn't talk times two. I have a hundred dollar donation here from Anonymous who says, playing along with the breakfast block with my own bowl of oatmeal. That's right. Y'all can play along at home. Eat some breakfast. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of really nice love in the chat. Thank you all so much. I'm seeing a $100 donation here from Amber who says, give me waffles or give me death. I've been really craving waffles myself for like a week. I haven't gotten any waffles. I mean, I, I, I really got to get on that. I have a $10 donation here from Aaron, who says, just woke up and there's a Weezer concert on the line. Let's go. Thank you so much for your generosity, Aaron. You know, every donation counts, no matter how large or how small. Every little bit goes to the Prevent Cancer Foundation, and every little bit helps us to unlock those incentives. Y'all are doing a lovely job, too. I just checked it out. Now we are up to $2,179 out of the $5,000 we need. So chugging right along. <laughs> oh, y'all are doing an amazing job. I'm sorry. I saw somebody said Guten Morgen instead of Guten Morgen, and I kind of lost it there for a moment. <laughs> Bread puns. I have a $10 donation here from McLunky Culkin, who says, this one's for the Swedes. Hello to Sweden. Well, I love this trend of everybody saying hello to everybody in other countries and the donations. It's really cute. Y'all are super cute. I 
I have a $50 donation here from Jay Zek, who says, second time donating and long time watching. Happy to be able to donate for such a good cause. Hello from Seattle. All right, and I have a $25 donation here from Amerlin, who just says Weezer concert, Weezer concert, Weezer concert. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep Weezer concert, Weezer concert, Weezer concert, Weezer concert. I really want to see the Weezer concert. <laughs> Aw. I have a $15 donation here from Co that says, Greetings to Brazil, less than three. I do want to tell you all a little bit about the Prevent Cancer Foundation while we are waiting for the next exciting run. So the Prevent Cancer Foundation, founded in 1985, is a U.S.-based nonprofit organization. Their mission is to save lives across all populations through cancer prevention and early detection by focusing their work through research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their vision is to stop cancer before it starts. You can find out more about PCF at Prevent Cancer. Dot org. I have a $25 donation here from old school. <laughs> Excuse me. It says, I don't like cancer. Here's to prevent cancer 100% glitchless all. And I have a $250 donation here from Selinkus without a comment. Just incredible generosity. Thank you so much. I want to remind everybody also that when you are getting your donations in to the Prevent Cancer Foundation, you are being entered to win amazing prizes. We just have some absolutely beautiful prizes available for y'all. I was talking about the Stardew Valley ones earlier. We have so, so many Stardew Valley prizes. If you want to take a look at them, you just head on over to gamesdonequick.com and click on the prizes. There's a Stardew Valley guidebook available for a $15 minimum donation and a whole mess of beautiful Stardew Valley perlers available for a $25 minimum donation. Now, as long as you get that donation in, you are entered for a chance to get those beautiful prizes. We have some other really cool things too. I was looking at that Needle Felted Journey Traveler. It is absolutely adorable. And you only need to donate $5 to get a chance to win that one. So please head on over to the website. Check out the prizes. There were so many, so many incredible, generous people who sent in beautiful, beautiful prizes for y'all. Take a look. I have a $5 donation here from Nicola who says, we need to make the Weezer concert real. Let's see a $5 Weezer train happen. We can do it. I would love, love, love to see a $5 Weezer train happen. Can y'all make that happen, chat? That would be fantastic. All right, so I am getting word that Big Law is all set to bring y'all wave break. Take it away. <laughs> 